Hey guys, just before this video starts, just want to let you know that my sponsor has a fantastic incentive going on at the moment. If you know a haulier that's interested in getting drivers, click the link down below, refer them to my sponsor, and if they sign up, you will receive 100 pounds. 100 quid. <laughs> click the link down below, refer the haulier, get 100 quid if they sign up. That's brilliant. Site inductions, nice. <laughs> Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. There's my truck, look, as you can see. Uh, beacons are already on, we're already loaded. And uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, we've got to get going. We're uh, running up in convoy today to Redden Festival with these on. Uh, and the guy that I'm running up with, he's just left his yard, so. I've only got like three minutes and I've got to get going myself. <laughs> but let me just show you the load real quickly. So these are two, uh, Two toilets. Two toilets. I've got my beacons on at the back, look, because I am slightly wide either side. Um, I had a bulb out yesterday on the trailer. Uh, that one there on the top, top left. As I changed it, let's just say something out of there dripped onto my head. And I, I, I won't tell you what that is right there, but just bear in mind that these are toilets. <laughs> so uh, that was lovely, if not. <laughs> Uh, I've done all my checks, everything's all good to go. Uh, we are just waiting for a phone call and I literally got the phone call just as I press play on this. So, uh, yeah, we got to get going. So, uh, two runs to Redden Festival. There's two of us going. We're both taking two up at a time. So, what's that, two, four, six, eight, yeah, maths. Eight toilets going up today to Redden Festival. Never been there before. Let's go. So we are getting ever so slightly closer now. Like normally I would let you in mate, but I just want to stay with this guy. So uh, yeah, we're uh, just around the corner. We're just a mile away. Just a mile away. Let's go under this bridge. Who beeped everyone? Someone beeped everyone. is tight. See this guy's just got right in between me and him, look. I've got flashing beacons on the front and the back and they still want to try and risk it. Never mind. Yeah, so today is Tuesday. Um, I've only got two more days at work after today, so Wednesday, Thursday, because Friday I'm going to Truck for Scotland. Uh, myself, Truck J in the UK and Cup T. We are, we've all been invited to Truck Fest Scotland, as I'm sure you're aware, and we'll be attending the show during the weekend. But we're going up Friday, um, staying in a hotel for the weekend. So that'll be fun. Looking forward to spending another weekend with those guys. Yeah, we can make that. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to that, actually. Really looking forward to meeting you guys as well. And uh, let's have some fun. People say the Scottish food is really nice, so you know me, I like food. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to trying some of that food out. Just, uh, I'm hoping that when people try and talk to me, they talk slower because I'm rubbish at understanding the Scottish accent. I'll be like, huh, what? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Right, half a mile away, according to the sat nav, he's getting into lane two. Actually, he's hovering both lanes. Uh, 
just following what he's doing. So you might start now saying that we take a left and a sec. Can't be that first left because that's a six foot six width limit. But we are well over six foot six. And a, heart, a seven and a half ton weight limit as well. I've definitely been here before. Right, turn left here. Richfield Avenue is the road I was told it was on and is the road that sat nav has taken me to. But after that, I don't know where we go. Somewhere near Cow Lane, if anyone is from Reading area. We've got to go towards like Cow Lane and before, do we, before we go under that bridge at Cow Lane, turn right is all I know. But I know there's a few compounds up here. Uh, Great Western Railway, for example, did some work for them not long, not too long ago with the bags. I say not too long ago, they could have been quite a while ago, actually, I didn't think about it. What's that say? Hand car wash? No, we don't want the hand car wash. Imagine turning up to a hand car wash in this. <laughs> oh, chaps, yeah, give it a wash for us. Two hundred and fifty yards. My sat nav has reached its destination. It's got to be somewhere up here on the right. Where are you? I see a couple of people with high vises. Yeah, and we're indicating to go there. I hundred one hundred percent would have missed this. Are you letting me through? Sight inductions, nice. Yeah, that window's going up, it's a little bit dusty. I think we're gonna have to have an induction. Leave my seatbelt on, or it's going to beep. I've got a nasty habit of taking my seatbelt off when I arrive on site, which is perfectly legal for me to do, but uh, not nice when you're vlogging. Sort some stuff out. See you in a bit. Right, we've been given the go ahead to go in. No one else has yet. So we're following the old mate in next door. He's just leaving now. Thank you. Jesus, it's quite dusty, isn't it? Window's definitely up. Is Reading Festival. Oh. 
Huh. I've had a little Google and uh, the actual festival itself isn't on for another month yet. So these are like well and truly one of the first few deliveries that are gonna be delivered here. But uh, yeah, I think, yeah, it was in August. I think end of August, so end of next month. I'd close your door if I were you, because you're about to get a load of dust. Yeah, it's proper, proper dusty here, man. That's the entrance we just came in. Presumably that's also the way out then. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be the way out. I don't know if you guys saw, there was, a, there was a turning left. I was thinking to myself, oh, surely we can just come in that way, but no, that, that'd be the way out. Might be a one way system in place, I don't know. Will the Sioux see? But yeah, the sun's out at the moment, so uh, as long as it stays like this, happy days. Happy, happy days. Yeah, there's no stages up or anything that I can tell just yet. Maybe the stage will start being put up soon, who knows. Um, I don't think I'm doing this work very long with these guys. So we might not see any more port cabin work after this video. Might be back on the bags again. But um, we'll see, we'll see. Wants me to back up, don't look like there's anyone behind me. I don't know how far we're backing up to. What I do know is it's difficult to back up because I can't really see, to be honest. I've got to keep turning left and right. I can't just go straight. So if I go just straight, I literally can't see anything. So I've got to keep wiggling left and right so I can keep seeing what's behind me at the end of the trailer. I hope that makes sense. So he's gone forward now, so I don't know where I'm going. So while I'm just here, I'm just gonna show you quickly what I can actually see out of my mirrors. So, yeah. When you're going straight back, you just can't see very well. And that's the other side. So that's why I had to keep wiggling left and right. I don't know what's happening. I've been uh, getting asked recently what it looks like when you get unloaded, and it's exactly the same as that. Exactly the same. Yeah, I'm here. Right. So we are going where the other guy is, but we've got to go in a different way or something, I don't know. Because he did turn right here. Apparently it was hard. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jesus, it's not the best. But as we're going on this way, on the grass. Ugh. And then we're parking up on the left-hand side of him. 
there's flags in the ground, so I'm assuming we've got to follow a certain route in and not run over the flags. Yeah, so I'm going to park up here on the left hand side of him and then what I'm going to do is leave my dash cam running. Right so you can see something happening from the front. You won't be able to see what we're doing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But you might see some stuff. I'm willing to trade my soul for a bit of your charm. There's no way I fade into oblivion. Cause I'll keep shining over you all. When your waves and twining, you better face the fall. Port cameras are off. Uh, luckily, we didn't actually need to set them up or anything like that. So, uh, just plonked them down. How long have we been sitting still for? 38 minutes. So, uh, yeah, not bad. Just waiting to leave now. It only took an hour to get here, so we've got plenty of driving time left. Uh, got to go all the way back up to Fairford now. Just saying, it's an hour and 52 minutes away. That's quite a long drive actually, it's longer than I was, longer than I was expecting. Ah, uh, yeah, no, it's taking us a dodgy way around. Uh, the long way around. Why is it taking us that way for? We ain't going that way. We are going via that way, by Kempsford. Add the current route. Right, hopefully we don't spin out here. No, it's good. Because it did start, it started to rain as you can tell. So it's going to be a bit of a pain later if it is really wet here. Just clean my uh, windscreen. Windows up Luke, windows up. So yeah, so uh, he just said in front of me, he goes, uh, as we went past, I saw the exit on the left. I said, yeah, so did I. I said, I think that's the way out. Would make sense. So um, we should be turning left and then turning right and then left again. There we go. So I'm not going to worry too much about keeping up with him on the way back because I know exactly where we're going. So uh, we'll just make our way back as soon as we can, but safely. Is any car going to let me out? The answer to that is no. I need it to be clear both left and right. We're going. Excellent, hey, beacons off. I uh, just need to push my mirror out a little bit. When we first arrived, it was really sunny, so I pulled the mirror in and uh, it was fine for while we were on site. But when we're on the road, I'd like to see as much as I can. <laughs> right, so yeah, we're heading back to Fairford now um, and then coming straight back here again. Um, like I said, we didn't actually need to set them up. We just uh, plonked them straight on the ground, which meant uh, we're ahead of time. Uh, we weren't expecting to get back to Fairford to like 11, 12, whereas our ETA is like half past nine, just gone. So we are a little bit ahead of schedule, quite a bit ahead of schedule actually. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens when we come back here again. They might want us to just dump them again. They might want them to be set up properly. They might even want us to set up the ones we dropped off earlier properly. So, we'll have to see. Oh, I really fancy a Toby Carvery now. Oh. <laughs> really fancy some hot food. 
Never mind. Right, um, let's crack on then back to Swindon. Do I towards Swindon and then to Fairford? I let them go. Go, go, go. Both of you, go, go. Thank you very much. I am a very kind and courteous driver. Right, so we're just passing Gate G now in Fairford. I've got this cyclist in front of me and I can't overtake her very safely and get back in in time. I've been following her now for quite a while. I'm hoping she's going to go straight on and not turn left because we're turning left. But we'll soon see. Do not stick your arm out. Do not stick your arm out. No! <laughs> oh god, I want to overtake you. Did she just put her hand up? Did she not realise I'm coming with, with her? <laughs> anyway, it's nice and clear now. Ah, oh, no it's not, there's a car coming. She just flashed me to overtake. I can't overtake the cyclist and get back in at the same time. Thank you for helping, but you're not helping. And now she wants to turn right. Whee. Anyway, that, that uh, airfield is starting to look a lot less busier now. Yes. Ah, right, I'm not 100% sure where we've got to go. Uh, I'm assuming it's where we went yesterday to pick these up from. But I was pointing backwards like they're still on, they're not on. I'm assuming where we got loaded yesterday, well, where I got loaded yesterday, you didn't see it. I'm assuming I'm going back to the same place. Uh, the guy we're following, he's, yeah, he's ahead of me. I lost him because we got stopped at lights. We've had troubles with horse boxes, cyclists. So, um, yeah, not a lot we can really do about that. But I'm pretty sure it's where we got loaded yesterday. He phoned me up and he said, go to the car park, reverse back. And uh, they do it from there. That might actually be him there, actually. I might just overtake him. Huh. Right, one sec. Yeah, so it's not where we were. We just went past him. <laughs> I was looking out the window thinking, yeah, that, that looks like him. That looks like him. So now I've got to try and find somewhere to spin around. Which might be difficult. I reckon I could spin around here. Yeah, it's going to be my best bet. I do actually have a pass to go in there if I wanted to anyway. Nice! <sighs> so annoying. Oh, that's an old vehicle. Just double checking, he's definitely indicating it. I don't know if you can see that in the GoPro, I don't think you can, you're going to miss it completely. Right. Yeah, I was aware that the base was here, but I didn't know whether, how close the gates were, or whether they'd be shut or anything like that. Oh, it's annoyed me a little bit now that I've missed that. I was thinking to myself, is it where we got the showers, or is it where we got it loaded yesterday? I think I just assumed in my head it was where we went yesterday. Never mind. We spun round now anyway, that's the main thing. Let's go <laughs> let's go back. He um he phoned me up and he said, uh, why have you just gone past me? <laughs> but yeah, sorry. Not good. Right, porter cabins are on. Uh we are once again wide. Not me. Someone said, is it you that's wide or the load? I mean, yeah, technically both of us are wide, but I mean the load. 
Uh, and we're actually in the base right now, but uh, it's a completely disused base by the looks of it. So uh, I'm filming. Just waiting for my mate to uh, to go. I'm going to follow him up. I'm going to sneeze. And, uh, bless me. Yeah, so uh, we went past here and uh, I had to spin round. That rain is coming down as well. Not looking good for when we get back to Redden. What's up? Why has he stopped? Go on then, off you go. I shall follow you. Uh, yeah, we got exactly what he's got on. Exactly the same. Going back to Reddin. Now, it was all right here, loading here, because uh, we stayed on tarmac. So we haven't gone on grass at all. But um, yeah, when we get back to Reddin, it started to rain a little bit when we left, as we were leaving. So I'm hoping it's not too wet. Because I will just spin. I'll just spin out. No questions about it. Just spin out. Ah, stark contrast, though, isn't it? Today to what it was last week, seven days ago today. Hottest day of the year, or one of. Absolutely sweating all day. And today, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's like 20 degrees, it's not cold. I'm in shorts and t shirt. Uh, but this time last week, wearing near enough identical clothes. You're sweating just standing still. So, never mind. Anyway, I should probably tell you that uh, not only have we uh, got loaded, but we also had a, a half an hour break. So, um, we got rid of our six hour working time. Just got to get another half an hour break in down there when we get offloaded. Got just enough time to get down there. Going to the uh, dash camp, uh, dash camp? Going to the sat nav. I've got an hour and a half of driving, and it's going to take about an hour to get there. So we should hopefully be alright. If we've got to stop, we've got to stop. We should be okay. Fingers crossed. Anyway, let's get cracker lacking. We are back in Reading for delivery at number two. And uh, I'm slightly worried because it's been raining most of the way here um, and the floor is wet. Don't know if you can quite tell. Yeah, and the floor is definitely wet, which doesn't bode well for the showground because uh, it was pretty much purely grass when we were there earlier. And it started to rain as we were leaving. So I think it's been raining for at least two to three hours here. So I think, <laughs> I think it's going to be quite wet, to be honest with you. Hmm. I'll have to wait and see when we get there, but uh, yeah, we could be getting stuck. Might need to get that, uh, the, what's it called, the towing D thing out. Might need that ready just in case. Yeah, ideally we won't get stuck, but obviously there's a chance. We'll have to cross that bridge when we get there, but Hopefully, uh, everything will be A-OK. -okay. Fingers crossed. There's a guy up there checking cars. Weird. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Right, so. It's just down here on the right, isn't it? Down here on the right. 
as my mate calling me by the way, Craig. Keely would be watching. Keely, tell Craig to stop calling me at inappropriate times. <laughs> he knew I was coming to Reading. He knew what time I was going to be at Reading. And he still calls me as I'm approaching Reading. <laughs> and he knows I'm vlogging because I told him I was vlogging today. So, Craig, if you are listening, do one. <laughs> Right, just up here on the right, isn't it? Is there anyone out in high vis? These uh, green fences here. Yeah, there we go. Now then, who's gonna let me out if anyone? Yeah, thank you very much. Excellent, right, we're back on site. Does look very wet. Yes, mate, I know to go around. And we park to, we're, 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 get my words out. We will park next to me old mate again. Ugh. You don't have to stay there, mate. I know where to go. Thank you though. Right, see you guys in a bit. Right, so, give you a call back in five minutes. Ended up being 25 minutes. <laughs> um, we're heading back to Fairford again. Pick up some more cabins, um, and then that'll be it for today. Uh, and that'll go somewhere tomorrow. Could be back here, or it could be to Avonmouth, into there where they're basically kept and st stored and looked after. So, um, yeah. We will see. Uh, all I gotta do, well, actually, there's no guarantee I am going to Fairford. I think I am. But he said give him a call when I get off at of Junction 15 on the M4, which is Swindon Junction, if you didn't know. So that is what I will do. Just gotta get out of here first. No one has told me I can't get out this way. So until I get told otherwise, this is the way I will go. Out we go. There we go. Beacons off because we don't need them on. <sighs> Make our way back to Swindon. It's been a bit of a miserable day today. I'm still wearing t-shirts and shorts. Um, because it is, you know, it's 18 degrees and I'm out, out doing my thing and yeah, so never mind. Managed to get half an hour break in while I was there just now. Uh, primarily waiting for the phone call, but never mind. Uh, we got the break in anyway. So driving time's reset. We're all good to go. Can get back to Swindon, get loaded and go back to the yard. No problem at all. So that's the plan. But yeah, the guy that I've been working with today, he... Um, he isn't going to be there. Can I make it through there? Yeah, I can make it through there. If he budges over, there's loads of room, mate. Come on, budge over. Let's not be selfish. You didn't you didn't need to make me stop. We could have both gone through. Yeah, uh, the guy I've been working with today, he's gone somewhere else to do something else. So I'm heading back to Fairford to meet another driver. I've, I've worked with so many of their drivers this week. So many different guys. Ah, oh, I still want a hungry horse. Still want, a, no, not Hungry Horse, Toby Carvery. Still want a Toby Carvery. <laughs> if I message my girlfriend right now saying, do you want to go for Toby Carvery tonight? Guarantee you she will say yes. In fact, if she watches this back, 
she doesn't really watch my videos. But if she does, <laughs> if she does watch this, then she's gonna want to go Toby Carberry. So, yeah, never mind. Anyway, let's uh, crack on. Get back to Swindon. I'll see you there. All right. So, uh, change of plan. <laughs> um, we don't have to go get reloaded at Fairford. We uh, that's it for today. We're um, going straight back to the yard. So, nice easy day today. Gotta get my truck looked at because I, I got an ad blue problem. So. Uh, they're looking at the. Well, I'm going to take it back to the uh, garage, get it looked at. Um, doesn't seem to be taking the ad blue. I'm on. I'm on the same ad blue since Monday, so we'll uh, get that looked at. And uh, yeah, so that's it for today. Tomorrow, uh, apparently, going up to Manchester doing this. So that'd be nice. Stretch my legs up there a little bit. Might see Jay. You never know. Uh, but yeah, no. Oh, is he saying hello to me? Look like it. But yeah. <laughs> for me today that's it so uh, thank you very much for watching this video hopefully you've enjoyed it uh, got to go see a little bit of Redden Festival so that's quite good so yeah thank you very much for watching until next time drive safe and I'll see you soon bye bye